What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video I want to go over some of my favorite Plugin Alliance plugins because Plugin Alliance is currently running a sale right now until September 30th, 2024, where a lot of their plugins are anywhere from $11 to $26. Some are a little more than that, but I'm going to go over my favorites in between that range uh, just because I feel like that's kind of the sweet spot for plugins when it comes to sales. Uh, so, of course, I have a link in the description if y'all want to check them out, learn more about them, or pick them up. And we're going to go over some EQs and some compressors here on a, a female vocal. I'm not going to show examples of these, but just want to start with this one. This is the Mog EQ2, which we all know is great for adding air to vocals or any track, really. Uh, but it's on sale for just $11. Uh, the uh, Mog EQ4 uh, is on sale for $21. And then you've got the BX Opto, which is on sale for $21. Now, I will say the BX Opto and the Mog EQ2, uh, if you have a, if you use Studio One and you purchased a PreSonus interface within the last several years, you should have access to these plugins for free as part of the PreSonus Studio Magic Bundle. So check for that. But we're going to start this with uh, the Acme uh, opto compressor uh, which is one of my favorites and I'm, I'm glad i saw this in the cell because i haven't used this one in a while and it's one i really like i really like the hardware um as well uh but this is a very nice opto compressor la2a style compressor uh let's quickly go over the controls let's go ahead and engage it uh so we've got your input and output meter you can engage here we've got just like an la2a we've got your input gain and then you have your output gain you can see your gain reduction here on the right uh, the more you uh, increase this input gain, the more compression is going to happen. Unlike an LA-2A, you have control over the attack and release uh, response times on this, where you can do fast, normal, or slow. Uh, I usually just stick with normal. And you can also click this to pull it out to engage a 15 dB pad on the input. And if you want some more uh, saturation, you can turn this amp in or have it out. All right, uh, let's listen to this vocal bypass. Just when I feel like I'm all alone, Jesus, you're there, you're there, Jesus, you're there with me, you're there with me, you're there with me, you're there, you are. Every day you're there, mm, you're there with me, you're there. All right, so great sounding vocal we got there. Uh, this was recorded with a Vanguard V13 2 mic into a Phoenix Audio Ascent 1 EQ mic pre. Uh, let's engage it and let's dial this in. Just when I feel like I'm all alone. Jesus, you're there, you're there. Jesus, you're there with me, you're there with me, you're there with me, you're there, you are. Every day you're there. You're there. It does a really good job on those vocal swells and really helps even out the vocal. A uh, huge fan of this one. Uh, if Opto isn't your thing, let's check out the Purple Audio MC77. Uh, this is an 1176 style compressor. And what I like about this one is you can link the inputs and outputs. So where if you increase the input, it'll decrease the output, uh, which is something you generally definitely want to do uh, when using an 1176 style uh, compressor. We've got, I mean, this is a standard 1176, nothing really uh, different out of the ordinary what we have here. Uh, so for all familiar with an 1176, uh, let's go ahead and add this in and let's dial it in. Just when I feel like I'm all alone. Jesus, you're there. You're there. Jesus, you're there with me. You're there with me. You're there with me. You're there. You are. Every day you're there. You're there. So 
generally, I find 1176 is very aggressive. You can see what we had here. We've still got a smooth response. It didn't sound as aggressive as a typical 1176 sound, but you can definitely get it to sound like that uh, by tweaking the attack and uh, release here. Uh, but another uh, very good plugin here uh, from Plugin Alliance. Uh, next, we're going to look at uh, the Mog Magnum K. This is an opto compressor. Uh, I have the hardware. I would use this at the studio for tracking vocals, and it's one of my favorite plugins for tracking vocals. And this is a really unique compressor because it it uses five different stages of processing. Uh, you've got a input attenuation, which is really nice because when I'm tracking vocals with this input attenuation, I can pull this back to uh, pull back the input if the singer gets loud. And then once I get through with that loud part, I can put it right back to zero. But what that allows me to do by decreasing the input gain, now I don't have to tweak the threshold and attack and release and all that for a specific part of the song. So really underrated feature that they have there. Uh, interesting thing about this is that it doesn't use a gain reduction meter. You have this light in between the ratio and threshold and the brighter it displays, the more gain reduction you're doing. So you kind of got to use your ears with this one. For the compression range, you have 4 dB, 8 dB, 12, and 16, and then, uh, yeah, 4, 8, 12, and 16 dB ratio. This is not like if I'm at, say, 4 here, that's not a 4 to 1 ratio. That's just, this goes from 0 up to uh, 10, and uh, threshold, same thing, uh, 0 up to 10. We have a sidechain filter, and we have feedback and feed forward. Uh, the way I describe this, feed uh, forward is more aggressive to me, while feedback is more laid back. Uh, feedback is generally what I like when I use this compressor. Uh, we also have the K-Comp here in the middle, which is a compressor that focuses on just the high mids. And then we have a two-band parallel EQ. It's MOG, so you know we got to have, have that uh, air band in here. And then uh, we also have a soft limit on a soft limiter at the end of the chain here. Uh, let's run this and dial this in. Just when I feel like I'm all alone, Jesus, you're there. You're there. Jesus, you're there with me. You're there. You're there with me. You're there. You are. Every day you're there. Mm, you're there with me. You're there. All right. Another really good compressor. But let's run this back and let's add some of this air band to it. Let's add. Oh, let's do. Mm, Let's do 25K up here at uh, about 8 dB. Just when I... Yeah, yeah it's too much. Let's back it down to about 5. Just when I feel like I'm all alone Jesus, you're there You're there Jesus, you're there with me You're there you're there with me. You're there. You are. Every day you're there. Mm, you're there with me. You're there. All right. So one thing I will point out with the plug in here that you don't get with the hardware is we have these meters down here that will show you how much gain reduction you're getting, which is really nice since I like to know how much gain reduction is going on. Um, also, with that input in, input attenuation, when you can back off the input, we can also increase the input going into the compressor um, if needed. All right, and this one's on sale for twenty six. All right, so those are three compressors that are on sale. Um, also, two EQs and another compressor with the BX Opto and the two Mog EQs. Uh, last one I'm going to show here is uh, the Townsend. Uh, bus compressor, which is SSL style VCA bus compressor, one that I really like. And this one is like $26 as well. Uh, we'll say it's one of the few bus compressor plugins that I do really like. I am a SSL style 
um, I like SSL style bus compressors when it comes to that. And um, this is one uh, that I do really like. Usually I, I go for hardware when it comes to uh, bus compression, but uh, this is one that I feel I can definitely get by with and uh, use it sometimes. All right, so uh, again, just to recap, this plugin, this sale from Plugin Alliance is running until September 30th, uh, 2024. Again, I've got a link in the description if y'all want to check them out, learn more about them, or pick them up. Uh, they say they have over 100 plugins on sale, uh, so definitely uh, check them out. Comment and let me know what are some of your favorite plugin uh, Alliance plugins, and if if you use any of the ones uh, that I showed here today, comment and let me know what you think about those. All right, uh, if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate a thumbs up, and if y'all want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.